How's it going everyone? College Lefty and in this video I'm going to be going over all of the brand new legends in MLB The Show 22 that have been revealed so far. So let's go ahead and get right into it. Now we have seven brand new legends that have been revealed and when I say brand new, right, Joe Maurer and Justin Morneau have both been in MLB The Show previously. They were both in MLB The Show 16 I'm pretty sure and I want to say 17 as well but I, I know for a fact that they have been in previous games uh, but these legends are making their return back into Diamond Dynasty should be pretty exciting we got a chance to see a little bit of some uh, some gameplay during the gameplay feature premieres they have shown a little bit of gameplay with a few of these legends next up we have Randy Johnson and we don't actually know if Randy Johnson is confirmed to be in MLB the show they've released a uh, video revealing him but we don't know if he's actually in the game. I'm pretty sure there's some legal uh, situations going on there involving animals. And I don't necessarily have all of the details, but I don't think it's a great situation. Uh, so hopefully, you know, that all gets worked out. But I don't know if we're going to get Randy Johnson in the game. You let me know what you think. We are going to get Ryan Howard, though. They have shown some gameplay. They showed his attributes or at least the attributes for the 85 overall Ryan Howard that will probably be included in the uh, MLB The Show cover choice pack for pre-ordering the game. But this Ryan Howard card will be a great power hitter. He doesn't have the highest contact attributes. I want to say it's like 80s and 90s, but that's still really good. Probably some of the best for when the game first comes out and we have some lower level diamond players. Uh, but Ryan Howard and his no doubt animation should be pretty cool. Definitely a solid first baseman. Kind of reminds me of Marcus Thames. Uh, we also have Chase Utley. Chase Utley was an all-star, 99 overall card in MLB The Show 17. They hinted at his reveal in an all-star legend. He is making his return back into the show. Definitely a great card. They showed a difference in his swing animation. Uh, when he hits the ball the other way, he has a one-handed release. When he pulls the ball... He has a quick, compact, two-handed swing and a two-handed swing, no doubt, animation. Kind of like uh, Cattell Marte from MLB The Show 21. How if you hit the ball regularly with him, he has that one-handed finish. If you hit a no-doubter, he has the two-handed finish with a little bit of a lean back. Uh, but here we have Mike Mussina, definitely a solid pitcher. Pitcher for the Orioles and the Yankees. He should get a pretty good pitch mix in MLB The Show. They did reveal his pitch mix for i believe his lower level diamond card usually when we have new legends in the game they are at an 85 to 89 range usually gives you a pretty good opportunity to try out the card or at least try the specific player it might not be the best version of that card there could be you know uh, a mid 90s overall and a 99 overall later on in the year just depends uh, but Kevin Euclid is another brand new legend, and after seeing Kevin Euclid that was just revealed this morning, I'm hoping that we see Manny Ramirez revealed. That would be pretty cool, a teammate of his. It seems like they've been kind of revealing some of these players in pairs or two specific teammates that played together during around, you know, around the same time frame. Uh, but that's going to do it for this video. That's all seven legends that have been revealed so far. I'm College Lefty, and I'll see you in the next one. Peace out.